Look at my hair. Yeah. And a happy new, new year. year. So right now, Mom, you're being screened out to all of our subscribers. Hiya. Ooh, nearly 89,000 of them. Hiya, subs. Yeah, most people in the house, in our house here, are in bed. But we're not, and neither is Nadia Swallow off the telly. But she's just coming around the corner now. I'm just going to pull you all up. I'm having hot cross buns with peanut butter. Hot oh. cross bun with peanut butter? Mm. Uh, look, there we are. Look, look, Mum. See that? Oh. See that? Isn't that curious? Oh, yeah. Um, and in a minute, maybe someone will say something. So here we are. Hey, guys, Dawny Harvey. Say hello to Dawny. Hello, Dawny. Where does it say? Just there, look. It says it just there. Oh, yeah. So anyway, Kerry Gracie, Kerry have Gracie. any of you just come out of watching Dracula? Have you just seen Dracula? Nadia, sorry, it's so white. I don't know why it's so white. Nadia's just, uh, what did you think? What, what could you hear from upstairs? Sweet. Sounded like carnage. Sounded like carnage. You can have to sit Oh my on. God. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I'll read them out to you. Um, OMG WTF. Do you know what WTF means? No. What, was... what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what OMG means? Oh my God. Yeah, you text me that sometimes. Yeah. So tell us, Mum, about Bram Stoker and Dracula. It's a classic, isn't it? It is. It's the, almost the first defining horror story, vampire yeah, story. I think so. I think Does so. all vampire legends stem from it? Well, not vampire legends, but yeah, certainly in the West, books and yeah. And yeah. Myths. Do you like it? Yeah, very yeah. much. What do we think of this, guys? Hello, Nanny Di, Kerry Gracie. Hello, Aww. Kerry Gracie. Um, I've not heard of the main actor. Do we know who the main actor is? Who was the chap who played the other person? Do you mean Dracula or? I mean, yeah. Who played Dracula? Huh? Does anyone know St Stephen Moffat and Mark? G Are you a Mark Gatiss fan, Mum? Yeah, that, that's an important thing to tell the subs, that yeah. he's... Um, what do you know him from? Well, the League of Gentlemen he is. That's and, right. And um, he's, he's a brilliant writer and he's obsessed with all things... He's a great um, actor as well. ...ghostly, he's uh, also su supernatural. But quite comedic, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a very sort of Comic dry term. sense of humour and sort of... So all the nun stuff in that would yeah. come straight out of his mouth, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very... Um, I thought it was very funny. It was. Did you think it was very... John Hefferman played Jonathan, what's his name? Harker. Harker. Yeah. Um, now, Mark and, and I saw him once in... Um, in a play, and it wasn't very good. It wasn't very good, but he is very good, who and the that hell was is very good. Who the hell is Klaus Bang? He's the... You know, I know, but oh. who is he? He's a Danish actor. What's he known for? What's he been in? I've never he seen him He played the role... Anything. He was in The Affair. He's 52 years old. He was in The Square. The Square. It's a film by Ruben... Oh, oh. I saw that. Does anyone know that? So Mark Gate is great, great calibre. Uh, Stephen Moffat, we obviously know from things like uh, Doctor Who, uh, but also going way back, Press Gang, things like that. Oh. Um, uh, look, Lucy T, put it on for two minutes, then straight off again, not my cup of tea. Oh, OK. <sighs> Was it a bit too gory? Were you surprised that the BBC went so bold at this time? Well, it was a bit, to be honest, when they were trailing it and, and they were, he, he did his famous line, yes. you know, I'm undead, not unreasonable. And he, <laughs> and he seemed, very, which is a very Mark Gatiss line. Very Mark Gatiss and, line. And um, he seemed very urbane and, and all of this. I thought it's a strange thing for them to do, unless they cut out all the gore. But mm. in fact, we had gore from beginning to end. They've gone full gore. Full gore. They've gone full slow-mo gore, but they've also gone a bit kind of... Um, what, what, how do you call the comedy? It's not exactly League of Gentlemen comedy, but they it have... Is, it is almost. It's very black, sort of... Very um, deadpan, very straight. Yeah, Does yeah. anyone like that? It was gory, but comedic as well. Did you like it, Hayley Davis? Uh, what else What else have we got? I'm not sure about Dracula. I only saw bits. We'll watch next week, Sarah Footwells. When is the review for Little Women coming? When we've seen it. Oh. Uh, it was gory, but I was expecting this from the BBC. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, I was blessedly relieved that it wasn't as naff as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, no, and me, and me. I mean, it, it's contentious to say it, and I know Stephen Moffat's a great writer, but I'm not a fan of Doctor Who, and some of the BBC's dramas can be a bit, bit naff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I thought it was greatly, very well written. Yeah. Well acted. Yeah. The actual look of it was great. Yeah, it was beautifully shot. It was. I thought, I, I, I wasn't entirely sold on uh, Klaus Bang right at the beginning as the old Dracula. Oh, as the old Dracula. I thought he was a bit, he reminded me a bit of uh, um, Sasha Baron Cohen when he plays sort of, when he sort of prostheticised up. I mean, I saw what they were going for. I'm going to make a contentious su suggestion. Okay, go I'm going to say something contentious. Mm -hmm. I didn't think Klaus Bang was up to the comedy. 
Well, it was a bit miss. Did you? I saw what he was going for. Yeah, yeah. And some of the lines were great, but I think in better comedic hands, they could have been delivered with even more punch and panache. Oh, I, I wouldn't disagree with that. I think they could, but it, it'd be a hard sort of act to get somebody who, yeah. you know, middle-aged man is going to have to appear no clothes on, vampire in front of a load of nuns. Could you do it? Yeah, well, yeah. all right then. <laughs> Yeah, I thought he made a. I thought he presented himself quite well for saying he's yeah, fifty-two. Yeah. Michael Tidswell says that explicit content should be banned full stop. Let's go back to the sixties. Do you agree? No. No, I don't either. I think almost comments like that should be banned. Sometimes I don't know why. Um, hi, Nana Di. Happy New Year to you. Like who? Haley Davis. Like who? Like who? Like who? Like who? Sorry. That's, um, I was going to say, we love you in Pennsylvania, Nanny Di. Oh! She'd like to go to Pennsylvania. Well, I love you. I love Pennsylvania, you Pennsylvania. And that's interesting because Pennsylvania sounds like Transylvania. It does a bit, guys. If I was going to set a vampire film in America, I'd probably set it in Pennsylvania. Oh, all these people won't be with us because of Dracula. No, will some people no. are just hooked in to wish us a Happy New Year. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Happy New Year to you too. From from Deborah me. Freeman, they spoiled the last series of Sherlock. Oh, I see what you mean. You can't have... The BBC did, I, I get you. Mm. Uh, did you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that I thought was a bit shit. Uh, draw with Cameron Smith. You can't have Dracula without the horror and the gore. No, no, that's very true, but I just I thought... I entirely agree. But because it was the BBC, I thought they'd make it more sort of... I thought they made it gory. I, I liked the character who was played by... What's his name? The guy from... Uh, John Hefferman. Yeah, I, I like Jonathan he Harker. He played this like corpse. He played this sort of dead, yeah, living he dead. Did. And the fly landed on his eye like it is with Jim Carrey in one of the pro films that he was in. Which one was it? I don't know. The Yes Man. And then it crawled behind his eye and you saw it behind his yeah. eye. Yeah. Oh, and look, this is the girl who played the nun and she was very Dolly good. Wells. Dolly I Wells. She was great. Was brilliant. She was had it? all her lines covered, didn't she? She was brilliant. She was absolutely brilliant. And yeah, I thought the nun thing, it was, at times it was like watching The Sound of Music meets Bram Stoker. <laughs> I don't feel ridiculous. Do you think? Yeah, well, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. what are you wearing, Nanny Di? Michael Tidwell asked. Oh, only just because I got cold, so I put a thing over my head. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, you should hire an editor if you feel drained out. I'm not drained out. Do I look drained out? Drained out's a good use of phrase because, of course, that's what vampires do, don't they? They drain, they drain you. you. They drain you. I loved, what was your favourite scene? My favourite scene and the one that got, don't yeah. tell anyone, but Kiki. But the scene that I really liked was when he went downstairs into the labyrinth, started unpeeling the boxes because they didn't look like coffins, and inside were the squished bodies of dead people. Yeah, yeah. Did you like that thing? Or was it I a bit did, too... But I like that sort of stop frame horror of the body. Oh, yeah, I did. But what was the one where he came out all in bits and sort of came all together? Out of the dog. Yeah, I like, did you that like that one. I like that one. That was a bit American Werewolf in London. It was. Wasn't it? And, and what I particularly hate in horror films, I mean, I love it, when I say I hated it, it frightens me the most, is when things are rushing around double speed, and they did a lot of that. Yeah, that's they? true. MP Nadia was saying you were feeling burnt out with Vlogmas film. I was, Vlogmas is quite tiring, because it's every day, but we're gonna go back in the new year to two or three vlogs a week, and all the other stuff, which is good. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it, American Werewolf, it reminded me, do you remember that comedy film, Love at First Bite? Yes. With George, What's the name of the actor? Does anyone know the actor? It was a comedy from the 70s, Love at First Bite, where he played, with you, it's never a quickie, it's always a longie. I don't remember. Do you remember that? No. He loved it. Did he I? used to run around. He was a comedy, comedy vampire. And he'd be like, with you, it is never a quickie, it is always a longie. I can't remember it. Yeah, so. yeah. Does anyone else know that? Leslie Nielsen? No, it's not Leslie Nielsen. Look, someone here has just said, the actor from Sherlock, mm. who played Moriarty, who was Andrew Scott, yeah, yeah, Andrew Scott, would have been good. He would have been brilliant. Good point. Who said that? You should be a casting director. Yeah. Hayley Davis. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Oh, the actor who plays, yes, we've discovered he was in The Affair and he was also in a movie called The Square. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nanny Di, when was your Coronation Street debut? You know there's an actress out there called Diane Adler. I know. It's I've not her. It. It's not me, obviously. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Andrew Scott is great, isn't he? He is. So would you recommend... So, I felt that you were you were labouring under how long this, this episode was. I thought it was it was slightly too long, but... Part of that could be because I was expecting it to be an hour yes. and it had to go on and fill that time. Yes. But it was good. I mean, even the last half hour was, you know, mm. edge of the seat stuff. And now he's firmly established himself as... Um, was there a time, take us on a little trip down memory lane, was there a time when Vamp... George Hamilton, thank you. George, George Hamilton, Hamilton, Love at well First done, Bite. Well Who's that? Done. Horror Fan 24, well, that makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Um, was there a time when vampires were all the rage? Yeah, 
well, yeah. They're quite kitsch, aren't they, vampires? They're, there's always like Hammer House of Horror films. And yeah. Sort of, you know, those sort of. They've, there's always been remakes, though, and sort of they've come yeah. back into fashion and then gone gone again. Yeah. Haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But which do you prefer? Okay, if I had to say Let to you. The Right One In was, it was a. Ah, oh, well, one of the things you hate is a fast-moving vampire at the side of a building. Yeah, it's a very specific thing that you don't like. Well, because they, it's like I suppose they're like Spiders. scuttling, yeah, scuttling, scuttling things. Scuttling. But yeah, you hate that, don't you? It's the speed. It's the speed. Mm -hmm. I also like the way this film. You can't talk about a vampire film or program without talking about the fact that you've got various ways of killing them. No. That's You've right. got sunlight, mm -hmm. which didn't seem to happen in this, did it? Or did it? it well, they, they they use sunlight a lot. Most effectively, I thought, in the scene where they were talking to each other yes. and it was down the middle of the... So you got that. You've got garlic. No one's talked about garlic. No. Now, a homeopath once told me to shove garlic up my bottom for something. I wonder if you could do that to a vampire. Anyway, but they did use the bread of Christ. Holy sacrament, didn't they? Yeah, it didn't seem to do much good. Well, it did, insofar as you had to invite him over the... Over well, the that's crumbs. True. That's true. That over the crumbs. So they had that. Then they had the crucifixes. Then you had the inviting in. Yeah. Oh, because that's a big thing. And let the right one in. That's the title. No, let the is. right that's one in. One. And and I like the fact that the nun said, uh, who I thought was brilliant, and her writing was brilliant. She said, I wasn't sure that any of these were actually going to work, and turns out they all do. Holy water, Laurel. Oh, holy was asking. water. Was there holy exactly. water in there? No. So maybe there, there will be. Kiki okay. said as she went to bed. What have they got left to talk about yeah. in the next two, one and a half hours? There's another three yeah. hours of this. Someone's just asked Connor, should I watch it? Yeah, I absolutely would. Yeah, maybe but not watch so... that episode yeah. first. Well, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe not so late. We, yeah. were, we were expecting an hour and that kind of wrong-footed me. Mm. Um, Van Helsing, is the relation of Van Helsing or the actual one? I like the Van Helsing in this. Van Helsing is the nun. She is, which is, which is a strange one, because Van Helsing's a guy in the book. So I don't know. Mirrors do something to vampires. It, they don't show their reflections. They don't. No. But exactly. he, he reacted very, very vociferously to that, like it could do far more damage. Can the reflection kill you? I should think it can. Yeah, maybe. Would I don't you like know. to be a vampire? No. Do you want to climb into your coffin soon? She's tired. I'm tired. I've no, I mean like her coffin for sleep. She's tired. And we and Nadia had said we were going to do this, so we thought we should. And we wanted oh. to say hello and happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy New Year. Happy birthday. What's that about? Oh, the Lost Boys. Do you remember the Lost Boys? No. The one with um, Donald Sutherland's son. Kiefer. Kiefer Sutherland, um, the Lost Boys. Was that all about vampires? That's what they're all, they're all young, hip vampires driving around the streets I of America. I don't think I ever saw You've that. You've never seen that? What's I the, missed out on that one. There was another one. What was the one by uh, Near Dark? Do you remember that? Yeah, that was a good one. That was a cracker. That was a cracker. Was that the one where she's followed in the street? I don't know, maybe. What was that one? I think Let the Right One In is my favourite vampire film. Yeah. Anyway, I think this is good. I think this is definitely deserving of a second, yeah, one, second I watch. Yeah, I do, I do. I think it's a step up for the BBC. I it, do. It's not naff. No. I thought the special effects were good. I did. I thought the blood, I thought there was, I was, I was night interview with the vampire, says uh, Oh, interview with the vampire, Missy of Hawkins, course, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, um, Gates absolutely. is such a good writer. I mean, the writing was great. And I found the it, it didn't jar the humour because there's always a bit no, of camp, isn't no, there, with, yeah, with vampires? Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. don't think that Klaus Bang is banging it to the back of the neck. I'm not sure. I think you're being a bit harsh. Do you think I'm being a bit harsh? Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, jury's yeah. out until the second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think. We hope you're well. Hope you enjoyed Nadia's uh, How Are You Feeling earlier. If you haven't seen it, you might want to see it. I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to dine on her neck and I'm going to drain her of blood. What a horrible thought, guys. Yeah. And all but that's going to be left is a wibbly wobbly... Hair skull. Hair... <laughs> <laughs> wibbly wobbly sack of skin. Oh! And just a curly hair go, on yeah. top. That would be quite creepy. It'd be very creepy. Nadia would make a great bride of Dracula. She would. Yeah, she would. Uh, and the other thing we're going to do is we've heard that The Witcher is the most most oh, streamed. Dear, yeah, we've caused a lot of upset with our reviews of it. <laughs> so we're going to check them out. Yeah. yeah. So, Mum, do your best impersonation of a vampire. That's scary. Did that scare anyone? It scares That's me. Scary anyone. <laughs> Can you hear the intake of... Ow! I bit my lip by accident. You've got to be careful with your teeth. I oh, know. If you were a vampire, they'd all come out on the first bite. Oh, sure. Damn. Can you be a vampire without teeth? No. That's a question. What if you're a vampire who has no teeth? You have you, you automatically have teeth if you're a vampire. They grow through, don't they? They grow through. They come yeah, back exactly. like a shark. Of course. All right. Okay, guys, tell us what you think. Obviously, this will be up for a while. Let us know what you think of episode one. Should oh, we stick with episode two? Oh, does it go then two? live? Yes, yeah, the all? live. You know, it's going to stay there, and everyone's going to comment on it, and we'll come back to your comments tomorrow. What does I'll read it mean them out. It means people things? just love you. No, but no, but what's the emojis? People can go. Yay! 
Oh, that's Do a happy emoji. Hey. Do a vampire emoji. <sighs> anyway, night night, guys. <laughs> Lots of love. Bye. See you on the morrow. And as I say, as love I said to whoever I'm saying it to, so nice vlogs and everything will be coming in the new year. It's going to be not as obviously constant as Vlogmas, and uh, there's going to be a lot more variety of content too.